The Supreme Court today said that Hadia, being an adult woman, needs to be in court on November 27 to testify whether she had converted to Islam and married on her own free will or not. However, the NIA submitted that in such cases, consents are often indoctrinated and manipulated. When the court was informed that Shefin Jahan was a criminal, the CGI in fact said that there is no law in the country at the moment which bars a woman from marrying even a criminal. The Supreme Court on Monday pulled up the Mamta Banerjee government over its challenge to the mandatory linking of Aadhaar to mobile phone numbers, asking the West Bengal Chief Minister to approach the court in individual capacity. A bench comprising Justices A.K. Sikri and Ashok Bhushan said, In a federal structure, how can a state file a plea challenging Parliament's mandate? Also, the bench issued notice to the centre and sought its response within four weeks. Indian captain Virat Kohli not only won the Man of the Series award after the hosts beat New Zealand 2-1 in the three-match ODI series, but Kohli has now moved back to the top position among batsmen in the latest ICC ODI rankings. This after he lost the top spot to South African batsman A.B. de Villiers 10 days ago. The 28-year-old Delhi batsman, who scored 263 runs in the series against New Zealand, including knocks of 121 in the first ODI in Mumbai and 113 in the final Kanpur ODI has reached 889 points, which is the best ever by an Indian batsman. The previous highest points tally of 887 was managed by Sachin Tendulkar in 1998 and by Kohli earlier this year. Hollywood actor Kevin Spacey has apologised to Star Trek actor Anthony Rapp hours after the latter accused him of making sexual advances nearly 30 years ago. In an elaborate social media post, Spacey not only apologised for his drunken behaviour, but also came out of the closet publicly, declaring that he is now living happily as a gay man.